YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Sun starting to come up. So I can see it was uh, pitch black out here. I'm in the back of the store. Took me a minute to get in here. I don't know if y'all can. It's really hard to see, man. I don't know what's up with these stores, but. With the sun coming up, y'all can sort of see. It was pitch black when I got here, though, so it took me a minute. For whatever reason, they just, they don't build lights or anything in the back of these stores, which is why this particular company, you needed two years of experience to get hired to. For what? I don't know, man. To tell you the truth, I mean, I don't see, I don't really see a difference in having two years of experience or having six months of experience to uh to do this particular job i mean all it is is can you bag in pitch black dark it's not even there is no tight dot where well, it's tight dots but it's not like um sharp alley dots it's, it's more just not hitting hidden shit in in the in the back of the stores like the trash can or, or phone poles you know shit like that it ain't like um hitting cars, that's one thing. I'm gonna put up a video at the end of this video and show y'all another situation I had yesterday uh, where I had the alley dock off the street. And that's that's mainly why I guess they want you to have two years of experience. I don't agree with it because, I mean, you could be a good backer with six months of experience. You know, it's really, it's really all about can you make the maneuver without hitting shit. Really, I think they should put you through um, well, with me, what they did, they had a train ride with me, and uh, they had me go to some of the toughest spots to back in. Of course, I can get into any spot, so it, it really don't matter. The experience is irrelevant, okay? But um, this is my last week at the company. Uh, my last paycheck is what I'm working on now. I'm going to try to go ahead and get all my maintenance money out because unlike uh, my last company, in this company, I'm going to get my maintenance money out before I get fired, okay? Not uh, after I get fired, okay? So, now this particular company, they don't really get you, they don't really take, so I steal, I should say, all your money that you get on your checks for maintenance, okay? They only want $50 a week. So, maybe I got like two, 250 in now, possibly 300 Not really that much. Like I said, it's only 50 a week, so... I think it's a uh, fair, you know. Besides, I did go to TA and spend three hundred dollars, so I really need to reimburse myself for that oil change and whatever else crap that came with it, filters and all that. But uh, I'm gonna say by Sun, no, by next Monday, I'm gonna go ahead and give them the paper, and uh, then I'll be out the door. I'm not gonna quit, but they're gonna fire me. Maybe they'll let me work that particular Monday. By Tuesday. Oh yeah, I'm at the door. So, let's talk about the violations right quick. Hit this reefer just fired up, so hopefully y'all can still hear me. Um, when I get back to the house, I gotta contact my lawyers to see how we are gonna fight each and every violation. The one that I see the easiest to fight this is a fire extinguisher violation I got. Uh, the officer said the fire extinguisher was broken, the strap to it was broken. And he also said that I didn't, uh, let me tell you exactly what it says. It says, failing to inspect emergency equipment, okay? Now on the law book, I did my pre-trip every motherfucking day. It actually says, I went on duty 15 minutes, and I went on duty 15 minutes for a post-trip. Every single day on the law book, it actually says pre-trip and all that, okay? And uh, it said it on this particular day, too. So, we know I did my pre-trip for 15 minutes. He said I failed to inspect it, okay? Which he, there is no proof that I failed to inspect it, okay? Now check this out. The video I did right before that funny video I made, 
I told y'all, well, I showed y'all I was uh, doing a blindside alley dock in Pitch Black Dark. And this real tight dock barely could open the door. But guess what? I ended up kicking the, the strap to the uh, fire extinguisher as I was getting in and out of the truck. I kicked it open, okay? And uh, 30 minutes later, I had a violation for it. So, we're going to see what we can do about it. The only evidence I got is that particular video. It's got the date and it's got the time on there. So, they can kind of see how the strap came unlatched. Now, the strap is not broken. It's just unlatched. All I got to do is close it. It just opens and closes. He said it was broke. It's not broke, okay? It's not like I got to go and hire somebody to, to, to rebuild a new strap. No, it's just it lat unlatches and latches, okay? So, we're going to try to aim for that one first. And then the second one is the speeding ticket. We're gonna try to get it reduced down. Uh, get the we're gonna get the points reduced down because I don't got a citation for it. See, if I got a citation, let, let me tell y'all something about speeding tickets. Let me tell y'all something about speeding tickets. If you ever get a speeding ticket for speeding more than 15 miles per hour, and wait a minute now, I don't got I, I wouldn't speed more than 15 miles per hour. I'm just giving you an example. If you ever get a ticket for speeding more than 15 miles per hour in a commercial vehicle, you always plead not guilty. You don't pay the ticket, you don't plead guilty. You always plead not guilty, okay? Now you got to get you a lawyer or an attorney or whatever the case may be. And what they're going to what they're going to do is in most cases, let's say okay, California, you get you get 15 miles or more speeding, right? The ticket is like four hundred and fifty dollars. To hire a TVC Pro driver is only like three hundred and ninety-five dollars. Okay, so it's cheaper to hire a lawyer than it is to just pay the damn ticket. Pay TVC, they gonna go there and they gonna get it reduced down to like uh, uh, some minor, like uh, not wearing your seatbelt. Okay, you may still get a ticket, but they, the ticket is not gonna be for fifteen miles plus. You're not even gonna get no CSA points. Hopefully y'all understand what I'm saying, but the point, the reason for it is, if you ever get a ticket for speeding more than 15 miles per hour, no company is gonna hire you with that ticket, okay? They they consider it a major violation. Uh, so in other words, let's say um, they consider it a major major violation, okay? So. Um, like I said, I don't got no tickets and no citations, so my, my situation is kind of different. I never really dealt with just getting a roadside inspection and you just automatically guilty. But uh, I talked to one truck driver. Wait, well, I didn't talk to him, but he gave me some hints. The only person that gave me any hints. Everybody else, a lot of truck drivers, man, I tell you, man, it's, it's whew, man, some of y'all in this experience. That's why I hate dealing with truck drivers that's got a whole lot of experience. It's just nothing. Just just driving is their experience. They don't have any experience outside the damn truck, dealing with tickets, dealing with shit outside the door of the truck, okay? One driver, uh, he's got 15 years of experience, okay? He said he been through this all the time. He, in, his, in his 15 years, he done got tickets, he done got roadside inspections. He makes a lot of money doing trucking. He's never been convicted or, or, or been found guilty or anything. Not any tickets, not any of the roadside inspections, because he got the money to fight them. He got the lawyer, and he fight all of them, and they all just get reduced, thrown out the damn window. Okay? That's a truck driver that can help me out, okay? Because he got experience outside the door of this damn truck versus somebody with, like, say, 90 years of experience who can tell me, how I'm grinding the gears. Maybe I need to uh, stop floating double clutch. I, I don't want to hit that horse shit. That ain't, that's not helping me out at all. So I can kind of see the dot situation. Let me walk y'all through it right quick. And I'm going to leave y'all alone. Give y'all a little tutorial. So. Like I said, it was pitch black dark. I was so scared to get out. I thought it was so dark. I thought 
it was gonna be like deers and shit back in and coyote and all that shit, but it was kind of like the situation where I got stuck in the grass, except this time I was smart enough not to know to pull up in this shit. So I kind of, instead of pulling straight, we had the alley dot, but we had a lot of space this time, unlike the last place. We just a lot of space, as y'all can see. We had a lot, of, we didn't really have the space on this side, but we, we, had, we had some space, so I kind of could do the alley dock in, pitch black darkness. Oh, look, <laughs> they got a damn light pole. I didn't even see it. I guess it just came on. Maybe maybe it'd be better if it, if it, if it came on at night and not during the damn day. <laughs> that one ain't came on yet. I don't know what, what's going on over there, but if you follow this road right here, now this this, this way it gets tricky at, okay? I gotta replay this video. Make sure y'all can see that damn logo, okay? Let me scoot back a little bit. Sometimes, cause I ain't got the little sensor shit. I ain't got that on my phone. But anyway, it's, it's kind of tricky because, see, if, if you would have just came to the store and you came to the front of the store and thought you were just going to come around the parking lot to the back, you would have found out that the damn, the, there is no, the store doesn't circle around. It's just grass on the side, so that's not how you come through. How you come through is, if you follow this road, right, let me show you. If you if you follow this road, you like you like the trailer. That's the company I work for right here. But anyways, if you follow this road, you notice it goes through them through them them trees. That was oh, it was even darker last night. You go through them trees, then you like turn through them and shit, and uh, in the middle of the night very difficult to uh, find a gravel parking lot to turn into but it took me a minute I had to uh, pull in the front of the store go get go get some help how the hell I get in the back of the store and they was like hey look you gotta you gotta go back down the road and on your left you're gonna see uh, some 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 rocks and you just turn on the rocks the gravel and uh, that's how you get in here then when you come in you gon' you gonna see nothing but darkness and you figure out how to get in that dock. <laughs> Woo, we're gonna miss truck driving, boy. We got over here on punishment for three years, boy. Three years. That means the quality truck is going back now, so I guess if anybody need a quality truck, you want one you know that's gonna work. It's got a little damage to it now. We got we got the bumper damage and may get a DOT violation for that, I don't really know. You can take the Pro Star. I'm gonna clean it up for you now. You just had an oil change. The tire situation was just a joke. Obviously, y'all know I ain't driving on no damn bad steer tires. Uh, but some of y'all ate that shit right up in the comment section, that's why I had to disable it. Uh, think about a DOT inspection, guys. I got a level three DOT inspection, okay? If you know anything about DOT inspections, a level three inspection is just a drive inspection. So, but to make the to make the story funny, because to tell you the truth, guys, getting pulled over by DOT is not funny at all. It's not funny at all. But uh, I'm a YouTuber, and y'all like entertainment, so I make the I make a terrible situation funny, right? Okay, but um. All the tires are good, okay? Tires are good. Uh, like I said in my TA video, the mechanic said I can get maybe 20, 30,000 miles out of it. Um, other than that, the back road, the back tires have been rotated. The engine and all that crap is good. Why is shit moving? 